Hello, Brenton with All on Octane here. In this video, I'm going to be opening up one of the Hot Wheels RLC Redline cars that I was able to get from the Hot Wheels RLC. This one is the epic Mercury Cougar. And uh, this one, I believe, is a newer casting. I'm hoping it's actually numbered because the Javelin was numbered. I think the 4x4 squared was numbered. And I'm really pumped to see if this... Okay, I'm sorry. It's not a Mercury. It's a Plymouth Barracuda. Wow. Totally butchered that. My apologies. I didn't look it up before I started opening. I forgot that it was, uh, yeah. You guys know based on the thumbnail, my apologies. I said something wrong, but I corrected. Here we go. It's the 68 Custom Plymouth Barracuda. And let's see if it's numbered. It is not numbered. Doesn't matter. I'm going to open it anyway. Even if it was numbered, I would be opening it. Let's take a read though. We've got the 68 Custom Plymouth Barracuda. In the Plymouth Barracuda was one of the original pony cars, which were sim smaller, sportier cars that people often customized for enhanced performance. This Hot Wheels version of the 68 Barracuda is customized to the max with a 1,000 horsepower Elephant Hemi engine and lowered rear four link suspension with coilovers. Additional body modifications include flender flares, custom hood inserts, rear spoiler, rocker extension, and front splitter, to name a few. A custom exhaust and front bumper Mounted with driving lights, finish off the body. Spectra flame teal paint with white belt line stripes and authentic badging create a captivating look accompanied by the five spoke real rider mag wheels. The inaugural casting of the 68 Barracuda for the Redline Club is one strong pony. Giddy up. Oh man. I would have said one fierce fish, right? <laughs> Isn't that what a Barracuda is? Isn't it a fish? Uh, but man. This is, I think, the second time we've seen the Helifa engine in a RLC car. And, uh, man, there's a ton of these still for sale. And if you're a customizer and you want a Helifa engine for 164 scale, this is where you would want to get it. Uh, because these are unnumbered. And, yeah, they're like 30-some dollars. But, man, it's a, it's a good donor. Although, it's got the teal paint. I mean, I don't know. Would I do it? Maybe, but I'm not a customizer per se. Look at this teal paint. That is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I am super pumped about that. And I believe if you're in the RLC club and you did the selections for 2024 so far, you the selection that we picked, I believe, is this teal. So it's going to be the second time that we know of so far where this color will show up. Because right now, the first one is here on this Barracuda. At least I think it is. Is this new? It says, uh, Spectra Flame Teal. Okay, maybe it's not, but this is a new casting. So we'll have the, wow, look at that. Plymouth. Look at that front splitter. This thing is a monster. It's really cool. It's got a roll cage in there and everything. One of the better roll cages we've seen coming out of the RLC. Most of the time they're super low and they interfere with the seats, but this one's got the racing seats. It does have big back tires for rubber tires. V8 gills. <laughs> it's got the Barracuda there on the back, the spoiler. This thing is super fresh. Let's see if I can get the hood back open. I closed it. And, uh, man, I'm so good at getting these things stuck. And I've realized that I might take you guys off camera really fast. Okay, that took much longer than I care to admit, but I figured it out. What you do is uh, you just tap it and that'll open it. So uh, that's the easiest way to do it because otherwise... The fit and finish is incredible. Look at this. Like, you cannot get a fingernail in there. You can't get anything in there. Trust me, I tried. I spent over and probably a half an hour trying to get this thing open. And then I just realized I could tap it. So that's what you do. Just turn it around and tap it. But take a look at that engine bay. That is one epic engine. And they've done really well with the radiator, with the air cleaner, with the supercharger. They've got a lot of great metal work up here on the hood. Very similar to what it would be like in real life. Again, the tamper work up front here on the grill is spectacular. 
it almost looks like a real grill. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it's maybe part of this plastic piece on the radiator here, which is really, really cool because it's not just tampoed in there. You can kind of see through it. That is epic. Again, great stance on the side. I love the side pipes with this exhaust. That, that exhaust is epic. Really, really epic. 69, 68 custom Plymouth Barracuda. Again, this thing is stunning. Really glad to add this to the collection. Again, if you're a customizer, that is a great engine to absorb. The interior with those racing seats, awesome. Kind of a bummer not to see any like paint in there on the seats or anything, but it's still really cool nonetheless. Good wheel choice, kind of simple, but great. It doesn't probably need chrome. I actually kind of like them grayed out. That's a great choice. That black spoiler back there, a little spoiler. And it's got the Barracuda on the hood. That is, this is one really cool RLC car. Big beefy back tires, rubber wise. So there you have it. There is the 68 Plymouth Barracuda from Hot Wheels RLC. Let me know if you got it. Let me know if it's one of your favorites, I guess, or at least you want to add it to the collection. I'm glad I did. This thing is epic. So let me know in the comments below and until the next one, have a good one.